Did you know you wanted to work in the public sector when you were my age? Well, when I was your age, I actually thought I was going to be the first female president. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. What's your name? Blair. I'm Sandy. What's your name? Amelia. I'm Maria. How old are you, Aria? I'm 10. 10? That's just like the same age as my daughter. My name is Renata Spinks. I am the former Deputy CIO of the United States Marine Corps. I am a Deputy Assistant Director with FBI Cyber Division. I'm Ann Duncan. I'm the Chief Information Officer at the United States Department of Energy. So cool. Why did you want to work in the government? Well, I always knew that I wanted to help people. We do get to help people. That's the great thing about being in the government. Working for the FBI also just sounded really cool. Wow. What do you do? That's a, <laughs> that's a great question. I manage a team that focuses on vulnerabilities. We figure out ways on how to protect against the bad guys getting and using those vulnerabilities. You keep people safe? Yes, from a technology perspective. Are you important? <laughs> I'm not important, but the job I did, I think my job was important because I helped other people to serve the American public. I was the first cyber technology officer in the nation. I was the first woman as that role. I don't know if it makes me important, but it definitely makes me impactful. Yeah. Have you met the president? I wish. I haven't met him yet. Actually, I have met him when he was vice president. Oh. I have met a president before. I've actually met two. Really? Yeah. And I've even flown on Air Force One. Oh, wow. Do you have a favorite, like, one? It's kind of like, who's your favorite brother or sister? That's so hard. Do you fight the bad guys? Actually, I do fight the bad guys. We are able to arrest bad guys and put them in jail. That's so cool. That's really, really cool. What did you want to be when you were my age? I had no idea. <laughs> Even now, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up. If you told me I was going to be doing what I do now, I would have been surprised. I don't know what I want to do. And that's okay. There's lots of options. You think about what you want to be when you grow up. You know, you could be a soccer coach one day, or you could be the person who owns the soccer field. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any advice you would give to a girl like me that wants to work in cybersecurity? Cybersecurity covers so many different jobs. To be a cybersecurity person, you can bring any of your skills to the table. That's really cool. Was it hard to get where you are? It was actually really hard. It was a lot to manage being a full-time mom, working full-time, but it has definitely paid off. Good for you. It was hard getting here, but it's also hard staying. And so that's why I strive so hard to start to shape and mold the minds of little girls like you to come in and say, hey, you know, one day you should be a cyber technologist and here's how you can get there. Is there a lot of women in your agency? There are only about 24% women. When I started early, early in my career, oftentimes I was the only woman in the room. My boss, the president, he works very hard to make sure that, that his staff hires more women. Do you know that there's over 30% of our leaders are women? Oh, that's so cool. We gotta get to 50%. On the technical fields, you're seeing more and more women come into those jobs. I'm super excited. I want to make sure I see you guys at some point doing that. That seems fun. Oh, it is. Okay. Cassidy, thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for coming here today to talk to me. Did you have a good time? Yeah. You did? It was awesome. I would love to see girls like you working in the public sector as the next generation. I would love to do that. Do you want to do a shake or a high five? Let's do a high five. I love it. To girl bosses, right? Girl, girl bosses. bosses. <laughs>